I found this vintage battery tester while recently doing some cleanup work, and I am interested in understanding how it works, especially how the LEDs light up depending on the battery voltage. So join me during those incredible investigations as I look inside this old device and maybe learn something. At this point of the video, I should point out that I am not an electronic expert. It is just that my mind has been triggered by this 40 years old piece of technology, and I need answers. But will I get some? It has been a long journey. It took sweat, blood and tears to come up with a basic electronic diagram. And there are still a few things that do not make sense to me. Despite multiple checks I may not have everything mapped correctly. Also, there is still a component I have not been able to identify so for now I will refer to it as Victor. So was this a total bust? Nope, my understanding of a few electronic components has increased. But more importantly, I think I get the gist of how the circuit works offering therefore an answer to my initial question. When a 9 volt battery is connected to the circuit, the voltage is applied between those two rails. When this voltage exceeds the Zener breakdown voltage of the Zener diodes, the Zener diodes operate in reverse bias and let current flow. This, in turn, turns on the NPN transistor which allows electricity to flow turning on the LED. Different diodes with different Zener breakdown voltage allow to drive three different LED indicators for three different voltage tests. I believe Victor and his friends are related to voltage amplification, since it connects to the 1.5 volts input, does magic with it, and links its output to the same circuitry used by the 9 volts battery. To go back to my original question, how do the LEDs light up depending on the battery voltage, the simple answer is, by using Zener diodes for voltage control and NPN transistors, to switch on the relevant LED. But there is more I do not understand, so eager to hear from you if you have anything to add. Do you spot any issues with the diagram I drew, especially around the center part? Do you know what component Victor is? Any other feedback? I am happy to read it all.